<sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand the other side of MGTOW. Love this community, but something's... I guess people might say just need to change. Keyword is need. And, you know, I got got done talking to my friends. This is like a while back. Uh, I was talking to Batman, uh, Tony Carter. And um, he was talking about, like, uh, how to embrace freedom. Uh, basically, you know, try to embrace on progression and freedom in MGTOW. And MGTOW is not about pumping and dumping. And I mean, I don't want men to go overboard with it because that's how women say, like, all men are dogs. And, you know, and it just creates a lot of controversy and problems, you know. And, you know, I don't. Personally, I don't do pump and dump, you know, like I, I just don't. It's just not, that is me. I'm not built that way. But um, in the sense of being, uh, you know, thoughtful, considerate of being optimistic, you know, enjoying my recreations, you know, there are times like, you know, you know, I don't like being stiff necked, you know what I mean? I don't like being uh you know, being a helicopter to people and vice versa. It's best that, you know, you just like work on yourself and, you know, focus on the Lord. I'm doing my best working on the Lord. I'm not gonna say I'm trying to, but I am doing in total progression. And I understand, like, you know, in life, you know, bad entitlement really stirs a, like a lot of, like, lack of progression. Because if you're entitled to something in a negative way and, like, you tend to, like, ask somebody over or trying to, like, strive for a win um, or something spectacular... Um, or like, you know, trying to, you know, aim for the prize, if you will, then, you know, it's not going to end well. Uh, case in point, I'm not going to mention any names, but it's one of our fellow YouTubers. Um, it has been revealed to be by Batman that one of our YouTubers actually spent like 7K on a woman that does not... I repeat, does not want him for him. And, like, he trying to, like, have basically physical intimacy uh, with a woman that has no interest. And when Batman told me that, I just, I just shook my head like, this is unreal, you know? And, like, um, he was, that particular YouTuber was in tears. And he was, like, just, you know, depressed. And, you know, he was just, like, really pessimistic. I don't know how he is now, but, you know, if I had, like, 7K... I would have traveled somewhere. I would have traveled overseas. Probably at least like either Brazil or Japan. You know, I like, because I like being around like water and stuff. So I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand why. And this user lives in Florida. And like, I that's like, Pretty much like rent money right there, you know, obviously, but on the brighter side, I could use that like for like, you know, going on vacation, you know, just 
go on a cruise or just go overseas. But I'm not going to spend on a woman who just like have zero interest in me. I mean, that's just like really, that just, that's just like really extremely underwhelming. Like abysmally, you know, horrifically underwhelming. So, you know, I'm just doing me and like, it just kind of like, you know, it came to a realization that, you know, um, that like, just do you. And additionally, like uh, I did tell like Batman, Tony Carter that like, hey, I might go to, I ain't gonna tell you where I'm going around like winter because, you know, due to like YouTube purposes or whatnot, I'm not for sure, but um, going to a entertainment expo, if you will. Um, that's just gonna, I'm just gonna throw that term out there, entertainment expo. So, um, I go to the VA or what, well, the DMV, same thing. And I'm going there, plan on going there this winter. So, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on like just going over there. So, I'm just going to like just chill. Um, basically, um, just trying to like uh, go to a hotel. Plan on going to a Saturday, and then there's like a VIP I'm going to, which I, I bought the tickets, and the tickets were like under $100, I believe. But um, it's like my first time going ever going so um just throwing you a you know a tan a bit of a tangent if you will but he like make tell man just like I understand people trying to find a nuclear wife um going through a red pill rage because women just 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 like you know you know, throwing, kicking us to the curb, and I get it. We all been there, but sometimes you gotta lose that resentment and trying to, you know, have a desire for revenge. I mean, it's not gonna work. Because if you end up like having rage or like have a so much, you know, you know, very tremendous resentment towards women, then it's. You know, you're not going to enjoy your life. You know, you're not going to enjoy, you know, what you have. Because um, you just really basically have, like, murky thoughts. And you just pretty much lack on gratitude in, in the present moment. So. I understand. Like, I really understand the rage but you can't just like go like can't just like act out and tag like innocent woman or you know try to like promote so much volatile behavior because then you're gonna like you're gonna call the cops on you and next thing you know you're gonna you know face critical consequences you know, we all, you know, um, we just facing like, we've been through that stage before and I've been there and I have to learn that the hard way. But we got to stay strong. You know, like if you have like a, the men, if you have mentally have like the inability or not capable of like overcoming a situation of like a, bad divorce or a bad relationship, at least go to a therapist or talk to a, a genuine friend of yours or a family member you can trust. Because, yeah, I mean, it can behaviorally be traumatizing and possibly displays like unresolved uh, trauma or 
issues. But, um, yeah, this has got to end, man. Like, like, I understand, like, Midtown trying to find, like, a nuclear family and, you know, trying to build a relationship with, women, with a woman overseas. And, and if you want to be a passport, bro, at least try to be confidential. Please. At least try to, like, you know, don't even bring a foreign chick here. Because this is all going to, like, open up a can of worms. For real. So, because I'm just tired of, like, men just be on a variety of social media platforms just, like, showing their wives and stuff and, like, their foreign wives, which is good, you know, it's, that's fine, but don't just, like, you know, brag about it and just, like, show her, like, show the, you know, show the world what she really looks like. She's not, it's not like she's like a video game system or some sort of object. I understand, like, pe men trying to find happiness and trying to, like, be celebrated where and not tolerated in the U.S. I definitely get that. But please try to, you know, create a confidential, a higher, conf at least a higher confidential lifestyle. Um, you know, you now I see like very, like a few, you know, a couple of, um, few black YouTubers, um, that I'm actually proud of, um, that's over that are currently overseas and like permanently lives over there and like in the Philippines and either like in variety of like countries. Um basically in the Philippines and like Thailand, if you will. And you know, like like they making like vlogs about it versus like you know being willy-nilly and, like, you know, in your face. Like, that's, that's not the, that's not the case. And, again, this brings back to the same, like, you know, mental is all about, you know, enjoying our life and enjoying the recreations we like to do. But it's not all about, please, it's definitely not all about Pumping and dumping and, you know, hating women or having, like, huge hostility, like, hostility of women. I mean, we, we speak in facts. It's just that, like, you know, we can't, like, start kicking women away because it just, it's a, it leaves, like, a really huge distaste in our mouths. And I've been there before. Trust me. And, you know, it's just best you just, you know, like, be by yourself and, you know, you know, journal, um, you know, take a walk somewhere, um, go to a new uh, nature hike, uh, hike spot, trails, you know. It just like you just gotta learn to stop, you know, prevent ourselves to be stiff necked all the time. You know, like we gotta stop like worrying what you know what other make tower doing. You know, we can't like perceive what we do as sinister. I mean we all commit sin all the time and you all flawed people. We all are. But we just can't, you know, criticize other MGTOW because they like to enjoy other things. You know, as long as, again, as long as it's not promoting negative, like, energy towards people, you good. 
But as long as, as long as it's like is good in your spirit, as long as you thoroughly and genuinely honest about like what you're motivated to do, then by all means do it. Just don't promote any sinister, you know, activities towards people. You know, it's it's really unhealthy and like it can affect your mental health and it can affect other people's mental health. So you just gotta learn how to do great things in life and yeah, and just guys, we just need to stop being judgmental of other MGTOW that, you know, if that person likes, you know, how can I put this? You know, if he likes to go to like a Dar, Dar Entertainment Expo, then that's his business. You know, as long as it's not you know, as long as he's not acting out or as long as he's just not like, you know, being reckless of what he's doing. We just got to be, got to monitor our own safety, you know, monitor our own self-accountability. Um, the, only, the only thing we can do is take care of ourselves and maintain, you know, self-control. Because if we just like have so much rage and like, Attacking people, you know, just because a woman did, you know, due to the fact we come from a verbal or physical abusive upbringing, you know, that doesn't really give an excuse to, like, you know, attack other people. It's, you know, it's, some things are not that deep. It really isn't. Um... You know, and we just got to like, because people can look at other like men who does stuff like that. Then we just going to look at as like the next generation, next gen of Ted Bundy or, you know, like any like serial killer that lived in a loveless society or like um, at home. But I know I get it. It's hard to go through stuff like that. It's hard to, you know, be around some people who don't love you, especially with family, which is the herbs core, which is the core foundation of, like, you know, um, the cause root of having affection um, spiritually. And, you know, emotionally and, you know, physically, just like nurturing from your mother. And we, most men, particularly in the black community, we never had that. So, you know, we just got to, you know, progress. Um, just got to flourish. Um become more uh, vibrant. You got to be more vibrant um, in a positive light, be more optimistic. Um, just just got to learn how to be festive. Um, be festive in your activities. Uh, go to like outings that you feel comfortable in and you know, again, just just learn how to promote self safety. That's all you can do. And with that being said, I'm Blind Assassin MGTOW. Like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. And I'm out. Peace.